Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Lily Reads. Okay, so for today's video, it is not going to be a reading vlog, which is shocking because all of my videos have been reading vlogs recently but I'm in the middle of so many books and I don't have a reading vlog for you but I was going through my bookshelf because I'm starting the process of getting rid of those books that I unhauled and so I wanted to go through those books one more time make sure there's nothing that I still want to keep there's a few that I decided to keep but that wasn't the point but I was going through my bookshelf and I was thinking about like what makes me gravitate towards a book and I was like there are so many books that I want to read but I am deeply terrified of reading them like I bought them for a reason but and I know I think I'm going to like them every book that I buy I genuinely think I'm going to like I think some people buy books and like don't know if they're going to like them. I genuinely buy every single book that I own because I believe it's going to give me five out of five stars. Now that ain't never the case. I think out of like so many booktubers, I read, I see so many people's Instagram, booktubers, all of that, they get so many five out of five stars and I do not. And so I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? But I genuinely go in with the best of intentions. But I pulled some books that I am deeply afraid of reading. Like it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know why they intimidate me, but I have a list of books that intimidate me. Now, I do want to start with books I'm not going to take down because they're way up there, even though I have some pretty covers. The Percy Jackson series. I am so afraid to read the Percy Jackson series. I have had a video plan to do an entire video on me reading the Percy Jackson series for literally a year, like since I started this channel, I have decided I was gonna do a Percy Jackson video. I am so scared to read the Percy Jackson series for two reasons. Number one, when I was in middle school, that's when this book like was popular, everyone was reading it, and um, I disliked it. I read the first like few chapters of it and did not like it. That was when I first realized I was not a fantasy girl and so I didn't like it but everyone around me absolutely loved it. So number one I'm afraid I'm still going to dislike it and I don't want to read books I'm not gonna like and two you guys like it. I don't like it <laughs> when people dislike a book that I really like. Like it actually does offend me a little bit. It offends me a little bit. Like it hurts my soul a little bit. And so I don't want to like shit on something people love and enjoy. Rick Riordan is not a nasty asshole like some of these other authors of like famous series. So it's just like I want to like it. I want to not shit on it. I don't want to fuck up the fun, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I'm terrified to read the Percy Jackson series. It's not even that much of an investment. I already own them and I have pretty covers for them and it's not that long. Now, if we go into the Heroes of Olympus series, that'd be a whole nother thing, but I'm scared of the Percy Jackson series. So let's move on to the next book that I'm afraid of. You guys probably don't even know I own this book. I found this book deep in my guest room closet. House of Leaves. <laughs> I purchased this book last year sometime I don't even remember and I have not even tried to pick it up because what the fuck is this? Every time it, I do like lay my eyes on it I'm so confused as to what this book actually is. It has so much mixed media inside of it I'm just like this feels like an encyclopedia like what the hell is this and then when I read like the synopsis of like of what this is it's so unclear I'm so uh, like uh, I don't know I'm like is this fiction like what is House of Leaves someone in the comment pitch this book to me the people who I have seen that like this book even they don't pitch this book well because I'll read they'll be like yeah House of Leaves one of my favorite books of all time then you're like oh what's it about and you they just like they stumbling over their words and I'm just like no wait <laughs> no wait if this your favorite book and even you can't pitch the goddamn book what am I gonna do this book is bulky I am not a mixed media girl. I just, I don't know. I don't know what y'all want me to do with this. <laughs> I don't know what y'all want me to do with this. I literally never even show it on my channel because it's just so way in the back of my mind. I should read it just to say that I've done it. Maybe I'll do a whole dedicated video to House of Leaves, but what the fuck is this? Let's move on, child. The next book we have is... 
the rage of dragons so this book is intimidating because number one it's long and number two fantasy fantasy dragons and what africa i don't know it just don't sound like something that's up my alley that's why i put it on books that i either i'm gonna read or unhaul i it's black history month so i thought about reading it this month doing a whole video dedicated to just reading this book for a couple days but i can't bring myself to do it. i'm terrified <laughs> I am absolutely terrified of this book. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I know people who like this book. I know people who are just like, eh, eh, eh. but I just, I want to read it. I'm just scared. <laughs> I want to read it, but I'm just scared. Let's move on to the next book. Gideon the Ninth. This goes back to the House of Leaves thing. What the fuck is this book about? What is this book about? I, I, every time someone pitches this book to me, they pitch this book differently. So it begs the question, what's really happening here? Now, sometimes when I hear people pitch a book in different ways, it makes me even more curious. But if we're dealing with something that's already outside of my element, thinking like fantasy type beat, um, I'm already not going to want to read it. Like if I can't, ground myself in what's going on in this book it makes me not want to read it it doesn't interest me like when you pitch like a thriller that's a little bit wonky i'm there i'm there because that's my genre i trust that something that i usually don't read and then the pitch is a little bit bizarre i can't get behind it so i'm terrified of this book now next month i do have a video plan where i think i'm going to read this book but i am terrified to do the video that this book is going to be featured in because it's just like what the fuck is this book about like what is this and then there's like multiple like this book has several books in the series there's going to be several books in the series the second one already came out i'm just like that's another thing that scares me about this book series i don't do series i do not like reading series i do not i i've come to terms with that i do not like reading series so we move on the next one is a classic how long have I told y'all I'm going to read Little Women? How long have I told y'all I'm going to read Little Women? Little Women is one of those books where we just didn't have to read it in any... Got, I got an English degree. We didn't have to read it. We didn't read it in school. So I've never had a reason to read Little Women. And I'm scared. I love the Greta Gerwig um, Little Women. I love it so much. The 2019 film with Timothy Chalamet. I love it so much. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm going to be honest with you. I adore adore that movie and so when I went through this phase of adoring that movie where I would literally watch it every single day like it got a little pathetic um I was like I'm gonna read the book I'm gonna be a little women girl and like I look at it I look at it and I see how many words are on the page and when it comes to classics I don't like to do audiobooks of classics I like, if, if it's my first time reading it, I like to see the page. I like to see what people who built the building blocks of literature, what they put on the page. You know, I want to see how they chose to structure sentences. And I like to see why this book is considered a classic, what this person is doing, how I feel about the way that they wrote a sentence. I like to see that in front of my eyes. So I can't do the audiobook of this. I have to like read it with my eyes. And it's just like... This is such a pretty cover too. This is such a pretty color. But no. <laughs> terrified. The next book that I'm terrified to read. Kristen Hanna, The Four Winds. What the fuck is this book about? I'm hearing like the Great Depression, famine, marriage, love story. Like didn't this win the Goodreads? The romance category or am, am i is, did it just read it won something like what is this book about what is this book about like the thing is everyone who recommends this book like doesn't seem that enthusiastic about it. like this book had an era where everyone loved it but then after i didn't hear nothing about it i picked, i bought it because i fell for the fucking hype but like after that i ain't heard nobody say nothing about this book so it leads me to the belief that maybe like i shouldn't do it but then i read the synopsis and it sounds like a marriage it sounds like a family it sounds like it sounds up my alley that's me but i have no clue like i'm terrified because just like what the fuck is this like what's going on in this book and i have so many books this is the problem with a person who has a library in their home 
there's so many books I could read. Like I never sit at home and wonder, ooh, what should I read? There are so many books that I could read. Therefore, if there is a book that I'm just like, what's going on in there? I Like I said before, it doesn't bring curiosity to me. It brings avoidance. Like I just avoid it because it's just like, I got other shit I can read. And that's what that book has been doing. But we'll move on. The next book that we have is The Push. This book does not scare me because of length. It's not that long of a book. This is actually like the exact length and word size I like a book to be. I picked up this book because someone on booktube really liked it. I was just going on a rabbit hole of like reading people's like most surprising books or watching people's videos on their most surprising books that they enjoyed. And this was on a couple people's list. But since then, I have not heard anything good about it. <laughs> I have not heard anything good about it. So I'm sitting here and I'm just like, I heard two people say they liked it. And so I bought it. But like no one since has enjoyed this book. And then even further, I've heard people say they're physically uncomfortable by this book. And I am not that girl. I do not enjoy uncomfortable reading experiences. I don't like that when I'm watching TV shows, movies. It's the reason why I don't like, I don't like horror. Because I don't like feeling uncomfortable. I don't like that feeling that like it, I don't enjoy that so when I hear people say they're uncomfortable reading this book I'm just like I'll pass <laughs> I'll pass so like this book scares me but it's on my list if you remember my video last year my list of books that I wanted to read last year but didn't get to this is on that list because I want to read it I want to be part of the people who know what happens in this book but ooh. If it got y'all feeling like that, maybe I should just pass on her. The next one is Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I heard nothing but good things about this book. Until I didn't. <laughs> I heard nothing but good things until I didn't. Um, I, Lately, people have not been liking this book. I've heard, like, people were raving about this book. Then the second book came out. And then I heard people saying they really didn't like this book that much either. This book started to be in a bunch of people's like overhyped books video. And so now I'm sitting here like, okay, this is not my genre. It's long. And people who I respect are saying they don't like the book. So where does that leave me? Once a people are saying they don't like a book, I already am like reaching out of myself to like even pick up because it's not what I usually gravitate toward. I immediately be like, ooh, I can pass on her. So I'm I'm going to read this book. All of these books that I showed you, I am going to read. Like, mom ain't raised no bitch. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, rise to the occasion, but how y'all feel? How y'all feel about this one? I don't know. Let's move on. Children of Blood and Bone. So this actually is not my book. This is my man's book. He read this book and he loved it. He loved it so much. So he gifted it to me because he doesn't have like a big library. He's not someone, you know, it's so funny to see like two types of people. I am all about collecting books. I love collecting books. If I enjoy a book, I want to keep it forever. And it's so interesting to like be with someone who like, it's not that he doesn't understand. He gets it. He just doesn't want to keep a book. Like he doesn't under, like he has no desire to keep books. Like he has a lot of books that he enjoys and he's just like, you can keep it on your bookshelf. I guess it's because it's just, it's just, I mean, it's on my bookshelf because you can go get it anytime. But he's just like, I don't need it anymore. You can have it. Like, that's how he is. And so I really want, I love when people recommend books to me. I love when people are just as passionate about books as I am about books. And so when people recommend a book to me, I really like to see what it's about. But what? This is big. It's not my genre. And so I'm terrified. But like, I want to be a, you know, I want to be a good partner and I want to read what my man is interested in, but at what cost? At what cost? Let's move on. Ooh, Grogu, make some room for me. And then, it, and then it falls. The last three books we have, number you, this, I feel like when everyone's talking about their most intimidating books, this book shows up. A Little Life. A Little Life. A Little Life, but not a little book. What the, I, what y'all want me to do? What y'all want me to do? What y'all want me to do with this? What y'all want me to do with this? I have the UK uh, paperback cover because sickening. I love this cover, but what y'all want me to do with this? When, when, <laughs> when does it become, when am I going to find the time to read all this? 
to read all this. And then you have the people who once again say they're deeply uncomfortable reading this book. Not that they're uncomfortable. Like this book is an uncomfortable reading experience. And so once again, I don't like that. I don't like feeling bad or not feeling well when I'm reading a book. So what do you want me to do with this book? I just don't know. And it just sits down here. I keep on my lit thick down at the my bottom shelf, which is like literally the shelf I reach for the least. I think I need to restructure my bookshelf so I at least see this section more and it'll make me reach for it. But I'm just like, I literally think if I had to read a book every single day, that's on my bookshelf. Can't, can't buy new ones, can't do ebooks, can only read books on my bookshelf. And every single day I had to pick a book. This would be in the last 10% of books I would pick up like every single day. Like I would get down to the last like 40 books that I own and then I would pick this up. Like I'm scared of it. It's not that I think it's going to be bad. It's not that I think I'm not going to enjoy that. None of these books I think are going to be bad. No, that's what my whole video on books that I'm either going to read or unhaul. I believe those books are going to be bad. <laughs> this book I genuinely think I'm going to enjoy. It's just, it's scary. It's absolutely intimidating. We'll move on to the next one. The next book is Pachinko. If you're a real Kenya stan, you remember when I was supposed to read this book. I was, uh, my book about reading like an internet intellectual, I was supposed to read this book and I put it off. Now next week, next week, okay, next month, I do have a video plan where I apparently am going to read this book, but boy, it already has a TV show. So that's, let's start there. So it's just like, maybe I should just watch a TV show. It's long. And then I hear people say great things about this book. But the problem with that is when people say great things about a book, more people start to read the book. And that's when people start to say bad things about the book. That's like daughter of the moon God. It's like, I heard good things until I didn't like, now I've heard people say they don't enjoy this book. And so if I dedicate my time to reading this book and it's bad and it's bad or it's just the worst. Because the thing is, I love a good rant. I love to be mad. I love to be mad. <laughs> so if the book is bad, oh, we can have a good time. We can have a good time and I can trash this book. But what if it's just fine. That is the biggest crime. The biggest crime is to put all your time into a book that is just fine. Spend five days reading nothing but this book and it's just fine in the end. That would hurt my feelings. <laughs> so like I need this book to be great and when I put too much stock in a book it scares me to read it. The last book and I'll leave y'all alone. Jonathan Franzen. Jonathan Franzen impresses me more than he does not. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I enjoy Jonathan Franzen books. I've always said it. And then you have Crossroads. Um, did Jonathan Franzen decide to leave the editor at home? Why the hell is this book so long? Why the hell is this book so long? It's so long. I don't even really understand the premise of it or what is supposed to be happening in this book. And so I'm sitting here and it's just in, like... Do I really need to read a Jonathan Franzen book this long? I want to though. Like I really do. Number one, I kind of like this cover. I really do. It's different. It's there. I enjoy books with covers that like are different. Like you really don't really see like real people on covers that much anymore. And so I like this. Um, but it's bulky. It's Jonathan Franzen. And I have no clue what this book is really about. And the people who I have heard read this book, it, they didn't have really great things to say about it. So it's another real thing that like, I've, maybe I've heard too much. Maybe I've heard too much. I don't know. But those are the books that intimidate me. So of course, I will probably return to this video months from now, a year from now, who knows, and do an entire vlog dedicated to the books that I mentioned in this video. We'll see. But those are some of the books that intimidate me. Now, this is your job. This is your job. I'm putting you guys to work. Down below, if you've read any of these books, tell me a book that you're like, yeah, can you know? It's worth it. Read it. Don't be scared. Or if there's a book you're like, Kenya, avoid, buyer beware, like beware, okay? Like do not do it to yourself. Tell me down below, okay? Anyways, I love you guys so much. If you want to see more of me, hit me up on As Told by Kenya, which is like my main channel video. Hit me up on Patreon, which is As Told by Kenya. Or stay here, whatever, whatever. I will see you guys in the next one.